Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn the answer of this question. What is the difference between copy column transformation and derived column transformation in SSIS? So let's go to SSDT or bids and uh, take a look. First of all, as we are talking about the transformations, we have to go to data flow task. That's where our transformations would be. In the control flow, you have only tasks. So we have data flow task. Let's open it. Now, Inside the data flow task, we always have to read the data from some source and then uh, uh, implement our transformations. So in this case, I'm going to read the data from one of the SQL Server table. And I'm going to use that one. Uh, let, let me click on the sources, OLEDB source. Make it a little large so you can see the transformations and sources. I'm going to read the data from source uh, server one and column, uh, sorry, table name customer uh, let's check the columns we have first name last name address phone number and the region code etc now let's bring uh, the copy column if you see under the common transformations we do not see copy column transformation and we have uh, the copy column in the other transformations so let's click here and bring the copy column what the copy column will do for us let's open it and then we see that let's bring the input column from here f name and then we see only one thing here we see output alias that means it is creating a copy of a column a new column for us we can call this one full name and that's how it works we can create the copies of all those columns what we want and uh, then hit ok and then we can bring the multicast here and uh, join our copy column transformation to the multicast we are using multicast uh, just for the test purpose so i can sh uh, show you data by using the data viewer now if i run this one what we see we are going to see a new column output uh, that, that's that's generated from the copy column uh, from our f name and now it is called full name let's take a look we have first name f name here and now go all the way here we have another column that's called full name that's exactly the same uh, like our first uh, f name so copy column transformation create a, a, a new column for us and it take one input and uh, it create the outputs uh, you know th that can have um, different columns now uh, my question was what is the difference uh, between copy column transformation and drive column transformation so here is the thing the derived column transformation is uh, the transformation that can create also new columns for us but a good part about that let me copy this OLEDB source here and paste it good part about the derived column transformation we can always write the expressions and we can concatenate the columns and we can implement different uh, uh, functions on them so let me bring the derived column transformation so it should be under the common uh, transformations connect your OLEDB source double click here we can uh, in this case we had F name remember we create a new column the same thing we can do here add a new column so we can call it full name but it uh, gives us uh, a lot more options uh, and uh, where we can use uh, these functions we have string function where we can concatenate it we can find a string and uh, replace it we have hex uh, left right uh, and we have all different type of uh, string functions available to us we have also date functions available to us we can have is null uh, function available available to us so we we, we are uh, um, loaded with different uh, uh, type of functions in the drive column transformation the drive column transformation is also uh, um, ca capable of uh, generating a new column uh, as it is we just put the column name and uh, we out give the output column name we can also replace uh, the column so that's the big difference uh, copy column transformation I don't see people using a lot of uh, copy column I mean you are getting one column why you need to create another column and if you do there should be some logic implemented maybe you want to do the uppercase first letter and uh, that that you cannot do in copy column you have to use a uh, drive column transformation uh, you might want to concatenate first name and last name and bring a full name that you cannot do in copy column so you have to use a drive column I do not see a lot of usage of copy column is uh, something 
um, you went to a restaurant and you order a meal and uh, they they have given you different uh, uh, sauce sauce with that so it is one type of sauce you even really don't need it but that's how it is like uh, you have the transformations available that do the same task or uh, um, uh, perform the same um, requirement that uh, other transformation does so drive column in a whole is the uh, is the transformation you will be using and copy column is just another transformation you might not really use it because you don't have the capability to write expressions and uh, and all those kind of uh, use the function in that uh, transformation thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video